Yeah, good morning, Mary. It should be a little more jump in Rogers Arena tonight, I'd say, as, uh, I mean, a guy who scored the biggest goal in franchise history, Pear. Yeah, it, it's the moment that a lot of people go, hey, where were you? It was uh, 2011, the hated Chicago Blackhawks in town. And Poli has it, flips it, Burrow steals, cutting in, shoots, scores! The Dragon, Alex Burrows, 522 into overtime. And the Dragon was slayed. Uh, so we get set, Canucks and the Senators, a team that has lost four straight. Hey, that's your hometown. There's still a little bit of Sabolski love when it's the Senators. Yeah, not when they suck, though, right? I mean, the yeah. Senators are in a full-fledged rebuild. Rebuilding teams aren't fun to cheer for, even if you grew up in that city originally. Uh, the BC Lions have a new head coach. His name is Rick Campbell. Here's a guy coming from Ottawa, shockingly enough. He's got a pretty good track record of success, Pear. There's a, there's a theme this morning, Mary. There's a theme for James. Yeah, they make the move. There's so many challenges with the BC line. I think, I think they get the right guy, mm -hmm. but I just don't know. Um, I'm not sure winning football games at BC Place is going to attract this city uh, to going in and watching. Clean up ownership, game. but three great cup appearances between 2015 and 2018 to step in the right direction. Uh, we got a poll question today on Sportsnet 650, and it's about Mark Crawford. And Mark Crawford, James, uh, in some hot water. As the Blackhawks have said, uh, take a little leave of absence. We've got to check out what's been going on. The Canucks coach during the West Coast Express uh, on a leave of absence now after numerous allegations have surfaced about his abuse and treatment of players uh, going back over the years, not only in Vancouver, but in times in Los Angeles as well. Monday Night Football in Seattle yesterday. Oh, it was <laughs> Seahawks Monday night as good as it always gets. Seahawks, the 12s, loud and proud last night in Seattle as they beat the Minnesota Vikings. Russell Wilson and company now 10-2 and on the year. And that's sports. Have a good one.